think the time has come because I finally have something worth doing a new vlog post about. You know what that is? I'm flying Singapore Sweets class. So let's back up real quick. What is Singapore Suites class? It is a fully enclosed first class flight on a Singapore A380, so double-decker plane, biggest passenger plane in the world, where you get your choice of Dom Perignon or Krug Champagne. You get your choice of meals where they will put a special meal on the plane just for you. You've got a 23-inch screen and essentially for 19 hours they will cater to my every need. We've got filet mignon, we've got braised pork ribs, uh, we got prawns, codfish, we've got ribeye, oh, but that's the one I'm looking for, the lobster thermidor. Yes, please. And it's a ton of points. My flight that I booked was $10,415, or in my case, 91,000 American Express points and 300 bucks. So in today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of my Singapore Air Suites Class flight. All right, what was quite possibly one of the worst travel experiences I've ever had, where Tiger Air tried to charge me $320 to check my golf clubs. Got away with only $100. Now in Singapore, midnight, Gonna go and try and check in nine hours early for my sweets class flight. Not sure if it's gonna work, but it's worth a shot. All right, Singapore, you did a much better job, job than Tiger Air, as to be expected. Got in super late at night, my flight's not for another 10 hours. Was still able to get checked in, check my bags, and be whisked away to the private room, which is their sweets class lounge. You have to walk through the business class lounge, then through the first class lounge, and then you enter the private room. I got my champagne, I got my food. Life doesn't suck. And it's only gonna get better from here. Not gonna lie though. Really glad they had a toothbrush and toothpaste. Big win, big win. All right, time to try and get a little sleep. Even though I'm like the only person in here. When you're flying in the most expensive flight known to man, but you're too cheap to pay for a hotel room. Time to go to bed in the first class lounge. Let's do this. This is a giant airplane. That's gonna be my sleep right there. Well, when they ask you what kind of champagne you want, and it's Dom Perignon or Krug, really only one thing to do. Get a glass of each. Dom, cheers. sure which one's better. Thought Krug, now I'm thinking Dom. God, my life is so tough. Should probably do a little tour. This might be the biggest chair I have ever seen on an airplane. And you get a little footrest. It's all outfitted in extremely high quality leather too, so you feel like you're sitting in a luxury car. Bevy of uh, charging options here. Headphones. 
no shortage of controls for the lights, the chair, entertainment center, everything. Enough space to actually get any people work done. What were you expecting? It's a bathroom. Let's get one thing straight. Normally, we'd never drink Johnny Walker Blue, but it's free. <laughs> Gotta give it a shot. Yep. Still tastes like water. That's number six. So now it's time to go board the second leg of the flight from Tokyo Narita to Los Angeles. Flight's a little bit longer, but it's gonna be overnight, so I get to experience the pajamas that they're gonna give me, the amenity kit, the actual bed, uh, and another phenomenal meal. Actually, two more phenomenal meals. So um, I'm excited for it, but I just want it to end. Also, is it just me? This is a really liberal floor. So, I made a little mistake of pre ordering my meal of lobster thermidor, not realizing the appetizer was going to be lobster. So, the other one lobster on this plane. Is that really such a bad thing? I don't think I've had real pajamas ever. Man, how fashionable is this? Yeah, I look good. No joke, this was more comfortable than some hotel beds that I've slept on. They just woke me up for breakfast. I'm not happy about this. It means we're almost there. They're back in the chair, hour and a half left. Oh man, slept well. Flying Suites class was an absolutely incredible experience that wasn't nearly as expensive or as difficult as I expected it to be. You want to learn how I did it? Head over to LocationRebel.com, check out the blog, and I walk you through everything.